welcome back to my channel in today's video we're obviously going to be creating this look that i'm wearing using the makeup revolutions uh, pennywise collection so yeah you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all soon okay so as you can tell we're doing something jazzy again today these are the contact lenses i wanted to use in my last video so i am very ecstatic right now because they've gone in so i'm just getting um some bits prepared so in case the eye colour don't give it away i am hoping to achieve the penawa <laughs> pennywise uh look today i apologize that's my phone i'm gonna go for like a glam version but spooky does that make sense okay so if in case you haven't seen it already i'm assuming everyone has but Makeup Revolution have brought out their Pen Pen oh, for God's sake, Pennywise collection. So I've got my hands on it. So we're going to be using this today. So first I'm going to be using the shadow, which looks like this on the inside. So obviously it goes time to float at the bottom. So yeah, I'm trying to see if I'm in a uh, view. <laughs> anyway, and then you got the balloon shaped palette. Um, that's got a mirror as well. This is the paint and the brushes just fell out. Not to worry. But first things first, I am going to do my brows. I did do them before coming on, but I'm going to do them again. And I'm going to like, set them as well. So I'm going to put some translucent powder on them. So, so I have some blenders. And it also came with a blender, which is shaped as a, as a balloon. I'm not sure if I want to use it. I, I, I have this weird habit of like keeping things like this it's like my um arista cap blenders oh they're behind me so i put them on my shelf um it took me ages to use my care bear blenders that i've got from she care bear blenders it took me ages to get uh, use those they're coming like a tube i've got i think i got them for like 99p or something it was really like a couple of quid but anyway back to the point right so i'm going to do my brows going to get that all ready so we can go straight in okay so i put my hair up and i did take my straps off i still got my top on i just took my straps off so i'm just gonna put this everywhere i haven't quite decided what um top i am wearing because i don't literally have um, the actual costume um, so I'm thinking either um, put a white top on um, or a red top I think the only thing that I've got like of Penny, Penny I can't seem to pronounce the name properly today uh, the only like legit no it's not really legit I've got um, you know that red wig that I wore for um, uh, Poison Ivy? That's the wig that I'm wearing today. Right then, so now we're going to do the hard bit. So we're going to take it down my neck and chest. Did I get it on my top? I got it on my top. Uh, you don't have to go extreme like I am here, mainly because I'll get it on my top. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I've got it on the top. Um, but yeah, you don't have to go like extreme like I am. I'm just being extra, basically. So I'm just taking it just past my shoulders because um, when I take photos, I want it to give the illusion like the paleness doesn't just stop at my face or my jawline. I want it to give the illusion that it's the whole, my whole body is pale. I am so glad I'm going for a shower after this. I, my God, my, the shower after I've done my devil, it literally looked like I slaughtered something in that bath, in my bath. Because I got like a um, bath and shower combo. Oh my days. <laughs> oh, what's that famous uh, Blood River? Yeah, so it literally, literally looked like the blood river now we are going to go straight in to set it and then we're going to do so i'm going to do my base and then i'm going to 
in my eyes so i am setting it using the i heart revolution loose powder the coconut one <clears throat> okay put the lid on that because we all know what i would do if i didn't put the lid on okay so we're gonna do like a light contour bronzer i'm just gonna use makeup revolution matte base powder this is in the shade p12 i'm gonna try not to go too heavy handed i want to keep it as minimum as possible yeah i'm just gonna use revolution uh, hydrating and fix spray okay we didn't want it to dry down too much because i'm going to go in with some highlighter again i might as well just use all revolution products because i'm i'm using them so far <laughs> uh, so i'm going to use the revolution ice kiss highlighter so it's like in your face white i just what's the undertone yeah that'd be fine okay does anyone come from a facebook page and like you don't usually wear this much highlighter in fact you don't really put any on at all um surprise but what's not going to be a surprise is we're going to skip blush today okay so that is done okay so i don't know whether to do my eyes first or do my brows might do my eyes might do my eyes okay so we put the paint away because we don't need that right now so i'm going to use the eyeshadow so i'm going to literally try and use this shadow palette only only okay so brushes okay so oh, i've got a lash stick to that one so a be perfect stace marie 302 i am taking the shade boat this is just going to act as my transition shades i knew that was going to happen okay so we just pop this into my crease and i'm taking it all the way into my inner corner as well I'm not worried about it being too neat and precise it's just there just to help the other colors go on more seamlessly okay so that is that so now i am taking a more of a fluffier brush come here i know you're in this pot Okay, so I'm taking a P. Louise 272 brush and I'm taking a Georgie Denbra. Didn't realise it had two names there. Then we just literally buff that first shade out and we're going to go absolutely wild. Okay, so now we've got the base. Uh, so now we need more of a bigger brush but i want a sturdy big brush so i'm going to use a do color 04 and we're going to be using the shade careful which is the black shade in the palette tap off as much excess as possible and we are patting it on first and then blowing it out instantly so those shades that we initially put originally put down it's just to act as a buffer so if you're feeling brave technically you could skip the first two shades and go straight in with the black i would have done but i wanted to use like as much as many of the shadows as possible just unfortunately i'm not going to use the reds because i would have liked to use the reds so we are going to take this like wild we are blowing it out way to the hairline. I wish my brows were a bit more covered than what they actually are. Okay, I'm going to move on to the other side. Okay, I'm going to give that a break for a little bit. Uh, I would have liked it a bit more pigmented, but it's not working out. So, we're going to give it a break. So, I'm going to use some concealer. I'm just going to use Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define in C1. And we are going to get a flat brush. Is that? Nope, not that one. Use this one. So I'm going to use Be Perfect Stacey Marie 409. We'll load that brush up. And we're just going to do a half cut crease. 
Okay. Um, um, I don't know what shade to use. I don't know what shade to use. I'm, I'm looking at floating. I don't know why, but I'm intrigued by the shade floating. Ooh. If we don't like it, we can always go on top of it shimmer, so. What I should have done is gone in with that dark purple first. Oh, I didn't tell you what brush. So the brush that I just used was P. Louise F5. And the brush that I'm going to use is another P. Louise 114. I'm taking Crave. Just on the edges. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the black. Just try and make it more pigment than anything a bit better okay so now i'm taking floating but on a fluffy brush and this is do color zero five and we're gonna blend out that black okay so I'm just going to quickly do my other side. Okay, I did get distracted and i done one lower lash line before I was like, oh, I need to be recording. So I've just taken um, Careful, which is the black shade, along the whole of my lower lash line on a smudger brush, which is the perfect BPE01. And I... Buffed it out using the brush that we originally used for it. Like so, just going to add a little bit more there. Seems to have gone a bit pouchy. Like so. And then I blended it out further using the shade Floating. Okay, okay. So before I'm going to go further, I'm going to do my brows. And wow, that's going to be like the best brow I've done and it's not even in the right place. <laughs> now I've got to see if I can do it on the other side <laughs> okay so my brows are done um, I'm actually really impressed with them to be honest <laughs> oh they came out really great okay so I don't know why but I feel like going over them with black I don't know why I want to use the black from that paint palette and just go over them oh I love it okay so I'm thinking now um just to deepen up the black a little bit more because it's faded out I'm just going to use a Jessup 230 brush I just want the black to be a bit more noticeable yeah i'm happy with that okay so liner i'm gonna go dramatic i'm gonna go in with red so i'm using morphe um light cold liner this is from their lucky charms collection so it's obviously the red one you know what i should have done before doing that was spritz my face and do my inner corner but i'm gonna spritz my face and we're going to go back in with the highlighter that I originally used. Um, on a smaller brush this time. So this is a Be Perfect BPE 1018. Uh, so as you can tell, I'm, I am putting it on top of that shadow we did place down. So not to worry. So now I'm going to do my liner. So in the set, you also got liners. You got red and black. So I'm going to use the black one. Yeah, I didn't take it all the way across. I stopped when it met the shadow. Okay, and you know the drill. We're going to set it. I want to use the black shadow from the Pennywise uh, palette. So, the one that we've been using all this long. Oh my god, that is amazing. Right, so I'm just going to go and do my lashes. Uh, mascara and false lashes. And then I'll probably do my lips as well off camera and then we come back and we actually make the signi signature to try and come off. Right, I think I sorted it for five minutes. Okay, so 
you probably can see that I drafted out the line on my cheeks. I don't know why I'm so nervous about using this for, but evidently I am. Okay, so we're going to give that red a spray. Okay, so I'm going to do the easy bit first. And that's this bit right above my brow. Like so. So, yeah, who's excited for Halloween and trick-or-treating and dressing up, parties? Oh, what else? Makeup? Like, do you do your makeup as well? Or do you have your makeup done for you? Oh, that'd be cool. Uh -huh. I'm going to like join it like so it's coming from my mouth if that makes sense like so I am really happy with this look like so happy with this look right now okay I probably should have done my liner and everything um off camera because now I'm going to go back off and do my hair change my top and I'll come back and show you the finished result okay so this is the final result i had to um grip the bangs if you will uh, back because yeah they were just doing my head in so this is one of the tops that i put aside for this look i do have a white one as well but because this was my original idea um i put this one on first so i might take some photos with this red top on and then change it to the white top and see which one i like the best but yeah the overall i'm happy with how this look came out i'm just so happy that my contact lenses went in to be honest with you but yeah um i'm loving it i'm actually liking the wig now <laughs> i didn't like it on the um poison ivy one but uh, yeah i think it's because i gripped the fringe back <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But that's it from me. I'm off and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.